Uh, did I have any aha moments as a researcher? Um, I, I had a few. I think sort of the true aha moment where uh, you sit around and suddenly you have an idea and it solves all your problems are quite rare and probably more of a storytelling myth. Um, throughout doing research, you actually, you normally have like a lot of things that you think are really good ideas. And then when you follow up on them, they turn out to be not quite as great as you thought they were in the beginning. And um, sort of these ideas that are really exciting when you have them are important because they, they help you stay motivated to keep going and following up on them. And often those moments happen, at least for me, when I'm talking with other people and explaining my research to them. They have a different type of expertise and they explain the problem from their perspective and suddenly you see that there's sort of a new approach you could take or use tools from one field and apply it to another area. And those are really exciting moments and there's definitely uh, what gets me excited about research and collaborating and you know working on problems for a long time. Um, in order to have these aha moments, it really takes uh, sort of a very uh, deep level of understanding and thinking about problems. So normally, um, when, I, when those things happen for me, they're about things that I have thought about for a long time and possibly even sort of put at the back of my mind. Um, and then, you know, years later, you will talk to someone and go, that was exactly what I should have known three years ago, and then uh, all those things, all those things would have been really easy in hindsight.